I was a YouTube so today we're playing react to I ate like Matt Stoney for twenty four hours by Eric the Electric. One of my favorite like food eating YouTubers. See? He just uploaded it, so let's see what's up. I'm attempting to actually finish Matt Stoney's <laughs> most popular food challenges in twenty four hours. Dang. Rule number one. I must consume a minimum of four of Matt's most well-known food challenges within the 24-hour time limit. Rule number two. Each one of Matt's challenges that I attempt has to be the same amount of calories. Rule number three. I can't choose any of the food challenges. I took 25 Dang. of Matt's highest viewed food challenges and put them in a hat. Before each meal, I'll have to draw a red flag <coughs> out of the hat. So this challenge could be a breeze, or it could be one of the craziest food challenges I've ever attempted. If I can't take down all four food challenges within the 24 hours, then I'll have to eat the world's hottest chocolate bar. That which works in at hot is chocolate bar. bar. All right, everybody, it's time for me to see what my first Matt Stoney food challenge is going to be. Close my eyes, make this like more suspenseful. I'm really scared. The first food challenge: Matt That's Stoney pizza. versus one massive slice of pizza. Matt didn't mention the total calories in this challenge, but I estimated them to be around 7,500. Now the difficult part is finding a giant slice of pizza. Oh. Um. Whoa, how'd you do that? Where do you even get a pizza that big? We have our big. first food challenge right here. We have a mega slice of pizza. And I know what you're thinking, everyone. There's a little bit of a chunk taken out. And, you know, I just got a little bit hungry. And I also really needed to take a juicy thumbnail for this video. Before I get into this massive pizza slice, everyone, I can't just start this challenge looking like this. So I'm going to channel my inner Matt Stoney right now. Everybody, now it's time to get this challenge started. All right, everybody, so it is currently 9 o'clock in the evening, and the 24 hours is officially underway. All right, everybody, here we go. Three. Bro, two, go, man. What you doing? Be his record. Oh, well. Long Can I say everybody pizza? Always gets a bar. <clears throat> My strategy for oh my pizza God. challenges he actually is to eat the inside beat. first and save the crust for last. So far, it's just an absolute mess. <clears throat> This pizza slice was so massive that the only way I could eat it was by folding it in half. I just want to give a special shout out to New York Giant Pizza in San Diego, California. The pizza's amazing. I spent the next few minutes working my way through the pizza. Between the tasty cheese, pepperoni, and sauce, could beat I was loving it. But I decided that this real. pizza slice needed just a little bit more flavor. Everybody, it's time for some exhaustion with some deliciousness, a.k.a. wow sauce. If you know me, you know my food challenges, you know there's always room for exhaustion. Ranch and mayonnaise, it's yeah, like, it's looking, it's looking, it's looking, it's looking good. Whew. Pizza. Woo! Job you! Oh! Job you! Pizza does not look that good, With the addition of the wow sauce, I was able to get through the next quarter of the pizza. And the only been, thing slowing me down was the days. chewiness of the dough. Just started off with some paper towels. All right, so we're about nine minutes into this challenge. If you love pizza as much as I do, drop a pizza in emoji down below. Even though I was well past Matt's time, I decided to decorate my pizza slice with some more wow sauce and decided to slow my pace down just a little bit so I could enjoy the rest of the pizza. A few minutes later, all I had left was the crust. The crust, the best and part. In just of over pizza. 13 minutes, the pizza slice was complete. Looks like that took us just over 13 minutes to complete. Now, everyone, it's time to see what the next meal is. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm really nervous. I just hope it's not going to be Pop Rocks. No, God, please, no! 350 packs of Pop Rocks. Chick-fil-A. The second food challenge was the entire Chick-fil-A menu challenge. That's a lot That's of food you gotta Chick-fil-A menu challenge clocked in at a whopping 7,440 calories. That's like 14,000 calories. It's be very rough. Or so 15,000. 15,000 half calories. Everybody bro. that was really looking forward to seeing me eat the entire Chick fil A menu, but it's not going to happen because today's Sunday. And unfortunately, Chick fil A is closed on Sunday. Dang. That's crazy. It's a new day. Instead, I had to do the $3,500 McDonald's meal challenge. This food $3, challenge clocked in at $5,300. Oh, they call it $3,000. I actually did this challenge back in the day, but I didn't need a massive slice of pizza beforehand. A few minutes later, I placed my <clears> McDonald's <throat> order, and it was time to make the meal. Or so I thought. Unfortunately, they forgot a very vital part of this challenge, the french fries. With time already running out, I ran to McDonald's to get my fries. They forgot the fries. fries please? All right, everybody, so it is currently 
12.30 right now. So why I'm very crushed for time. Thanks a lot, man. Take care. Now we can make a meal. The $3,500 McDonald's challenge starts with four quarter pounders, 30 chicken McNuggets, and then two large nuggets. orders of fries. But the hardest part of this challenge is the medium beverages. Yeah, they're right, out of drink. Here we are. And believe it or not, it's already one o'clock in the afternoon, which means that I have about seven hours and 55 minutes left in this challenge. In Matt's video, he did this in about eight minutes and 56 seconds. So I'm gonna try to see if I can take all this down before his time. All right, three, two, and one. I decided to start with the nuggets, mainly because there's a secret sauce combination that very few people actually know about. It's time for some sauce ratio. Before getting to the sauce combination, I had to break into the ranch first. This is probably gonna sound we ate all in eight you know minutes. What? I found out in my 250 McNugget challenge how delicious honey and McNuggets is. The honey and nugget combo was everything I needed. Between the sweetness of the honey and the saltiness of the nuggets, I thought you didn't like the sweet and salty. Combos out there. Oh, something. All right, nuggets are down. We're about seven minutes in. Now it's time to get into these double quarter pounders of cheese. <laughs> Since the quarter pounders are classic, you know it gets fire. The goal for this challenge is to finish each meal. So even though I was well past Matt's time, I carried on anyways. You didn't try to right, beat Matt's time. The, uh, Ten mark. Oh. Goodness. I remember the beverages being the hardest part about this challenge. <sighs> Alright, it's time to decorate this quarter pounder with some salty McDonald's deliciousness. With all the burgers and nuggets in my body, with all the liquid, this meal was way denser than I thought it would be. But a few minutes later, yeah. I was finally able to get to the last item. I know, the man. Price. Now it's time to get to our salty, delicious McDonald's french fries. Excuse me. If you guys have made it up into this point of the video, why don't you just drop a french fry emoji down below. It's actually probably a good thing that I went back to get these fries because they tasted extra fresh. Dang. I went my way to the fries and the only thing left fry. was one drink. Farther down. Last bit of this. There you go. Final time. 19 minutes and 17 seconds. <laughs> what can I say? I'm definitely not the best speed eater in the world. I'll leave that to Matt. It's time to see what the next meal is going to be. The next food challenge was Matt's infamous 50 scrambled egg challenge. This challenge was pretty straightforward. Egg. Matt ate 50 scrambled eggs on one platter, which Damn. clocked in at 3,500 calories. I guess this <clears> challenge <throat> just got a little bit more exciting. Still. I've never attempted to scramble 50 eggs before, so I had no idea how this was going to come out. I seasoned them with salt and pepper, threw in some milk, and then burned a few thousand calories whiskey. Nope. I added as many eggs as possible to my pans. And then I decided to throw in some cheese just for some extra flavor. After the eggs were done, I threw all of them on the platter. I threw the remaining eggs in the pan and cooked those up too. Threw on some more cheese, and then threw the remaining eggs on top. All right, everybody, here we are. We have 50 scrambled eggs. It is currently 4.30 in the afternoon right now, which means I only have about four and a half hours left in this food challenge. Matt Stoney took his 50 scrambled eggs down in about six minutes and he didn't 16 try to beat seconds. It, so I'm gonna try to get this down in under six minutes and 16 seconds. Miss Electric, how long do you think it's gonna take me to eat this? Do you think I'm gonna be able to eat this in five minutes? Faster than Matt Stoney? I appreciate your confidence in me. Right, everybody, here we go. Three, two, and one. Bro, go for real, man, go. He would. Well, he's doing this for With the fact that there was over yeah. 300 pounds of protein on this platter, these eggs were going to fill me up big time. All right. You got to bring a familiar friend here. There's two types of people in this world. People that like eggs in their ketchup and people that don't. He, bro. Ketchup See? on their eggs. Which Man, one not, are you? Bro, why is he trying to beat Matt Tony time? He's not going to try for real, bro. <laughs> I enjoyed the first few bites of these eggs, but at this point, flavor fatigue was really hitting me. Dude, I really loved eggs like five minutes ago, but now I don't. We're well past six minutes. Yeah, well past, you just passed. The only thing helping me at this point was the ketchup. Oh. 
There's so many eggs. Out of protein. I feel like this challenge just might crack me. <laughs> okay, I'm done really for now. All right, everybody. Well, we're about 10 minutes into this platter. This is way too many eggs, man. Despite the flavor fatigue, I pushed through the eggs and only had a few bites left. Well, everybody, we've made it through three yeah, meals. The only way I'm going to be able to successfully complete this challenge is if the next challenge out of the hat is either one of Matt's speed challenges or if it's one of Matt's sweet challenges. The next food challenge was Matt's infamous 203 Chips Ahoy challenge. This food challenge was also pretty straightforward. Two half gallons of milk with 203 Chips Ahoy cookies. The total calorie count was 12,000. At this point, I'd taken down just over 17,000 calories. And while I did need something sweet, if I was going to finish this final meal and complete the challenge, then I was going to have to find some way to fit eight pounds of cookies and milk into my body in just three hours. Almost 900 grams of sugar. The 203 Chips Ahoy Cookie Challenge is one of Matt's highest calorie challenges on his channel. With just one hour left in this challenge, I knew that this challenge was going to come down to the wire. All right, everybody. So we have about an hour and five minutes left in this entire food challenge. And what's even crazier is I have to find some way to fit this entire bowl of cookies and these two half gallons of milk inside of my body. And if I can't, then I have to eat the world's hottest chocolate bar. In Matt's video, he took his bowl of cookies down in just around 27 and a half minutes. Everyone, I just got to get into this bowl of cookies. Without further ado, this is meal number four. Optimal dunking time between six to eight seconds. After all the sodium I'd consumed, this cookie was everything I needed. The first 25 cookies went down easy. Since I'm eating cookies, I do need to know, are you team crispy cookie or are you team chewy cookie? Chewy. Normally, I'd pour all the milk over the cookies and make a giant bowl of cookie cereal. But I wanted to do this challenge just like Matt did in his <clears throat> Whew. These cookies are tasty, but they definitely destroy the roof of your mouth when you're trying to eat 200 of them. At first, I thought the sugar was going to be the hardest part of this challenge. But eventually, I realized it was going to be the roof of my mouth that was going to pay the biggest price. Originally, I was going to try doing this challenge for a week, but I said I would try a 24-hour challenge first. I'm going to say that if this video gets 55,000 likes, I will eat like Matt Stoney for one entire week. So give the video a like if you want to see that. And be sure to subscribe for more food challenges. I worked my way through the rest of the cookies, but at the 10-minute mark, I hit the dreaded... That's crazy, bro. Whole week. Eat like Matt Stoney, bro. Oh. Man, these cookies are just dense, man. Oh, it felt like all I was seeing in front of me were cookies. Like never ending. It felt like cookies were everywhere. Bro, it's not even halfway finished. Almost, almost half gallons on. Oh, dude, there's so many fucking cookies, man. Excuse my language. Matt, why couldn't you... Uh, technical difficulty has been dealt with. Matt, why couldn't you have just chosen chewy cookies? There's so much better. After about 10 more cookies, I hit an even bigger wall. Oh. Oh, man. <sighs> Been eating cookies for way too long, man. 43 minutes and 16 seconds left. No challenge. Oh. Why do you do this to me, man? At this point, the flavor fatigue was overwhelming. Oh, I'm so tired of eating cookies right now. And the crunchy cookies were destroying my mouth. After a few more cookies, I had to make a very important decision. Just like that, everybody. I gotta call it right here. We have about 38 minutes and 35 seconds left in this challenge. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give myself a few minutes because right now I just, I got way too much going on down there and uh, I need to give myself a few minutes and then I'm gonna come back for a final push. Not that kind of push, that'll be tomorrow. All right, everybody. Well, there's about 18 and a half minutes left in this challenge. Oh, I got quite a food baby right now.
feel like Matt would be proud. Cheers. To you. With just a few minutes left on the clock, I was gonna have to pull off a miracle to get these cookies down. We have 14 minutes left. Oh, Matt. Why can't you just have to pick chewy cookies, man? Not only was the time running out, but my confidence was as well. I am so full right now. Oh. But a few seconds later, I decided I needed to do something important. I needed to channel my inner Matt Stoney. As I stuffed the cookies into my mouth, I felt like I got a second wind. But unfortunately, that second wind was short. Regardless of how full I was, I carried on anyways. I have about seven and a half minutes left. I'm uh, really just not liking cookies at all right now. Uh, but if you're still here with me, Electric Empire, and you're still with the flow of the video, why don't you just drop a cookie emoji down below in the comments. With only a few minutes left, time was running out. I'm absolutely disgusted with my behavior. I spent the next few minutes taking down as many cookies as possible, but unfortunately the time was up. Dang, time's up. I've unfortunately failed this challenge. And unfortunately, I have to eat the world's hottest have chocolate to eat bar. eat this world's hottest chocolate bar. A few minutes later, I went to open the box for the world's hottest chocolate bar. But I made a shocking discovery. It was completely empty. It turns out that back in 2021, I played a little prank on my girlfriend for our second channel. And I used the chocolate bar for that video. Why is it so hot? And I forgot to throw the box away. Thankfully, I had a plan B. All right, everybody, so oh. unfortunately, I don't have the world's hottest chocolate bar. But thankfully, my sister sent me, as a little prank a few months ago, the world's hottest gummy bear, which, strangely enough, is just as hot as the world's hottest chocolate bar. So while I will not be consuming the world's really hottest chocolate, the chocolate bar, bar, I will the gummy be bears, consuming be hot the world's and stuff. hottest gummy bear. Oh, it looks so cute and innocent. And then I bet it's nasty chocolate bar. It's chocolate. I got five minutes on the clock. You know, it's hot chocolate. Bottoms up. Boom. Well, I don't want to swallow it. That's what she said. Yeah. Oh. Holy. Holy sh. That is hot. <laughs> Drink the milk. Oh, why didn't I start the f***ing timer yet? Excuse my language. Oh. Oh, man. That is. Oh, that is stupid hot, man. Oh. <sighs> My throat is like burning. How has it only been a minute and a half? <sighs> I feel like my body is just, oh, it's tingling and I'm wide awake right now. Oh, my breathing, my hearing. Why does that always happen when I do this? <sighs> Subjecting myself to this. Matt, I know you're probably not watching me to do this right now, but in the case that you are, mad respect, brother. Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, excuse my language. A little nitro is just a, f a little nightmare. Oh, it's fat free milk. Oh. The total calorie count for this challenge, not including the whipped cream, was 25,154. 25,000 calories one day. That'll be right up on the screen for you to enjoy next, along with my last food challenge, just in case you missed it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more food challenges, give the video a like, and I'll see you all. Hey man, make sure you gotta like, comment, subscribe, bro. If you comment down below if you think you can eat that much food in one sitting, bro. Or even just like one of them, like just cookies or pizza or something like that. Make sure you gotta like, comment, subscribe, peace.